Hi guys, today we have something quite a bit different than usual. Hi, how can I help? <laughs> so this is something that we've been trying to make happen for quite a few months now and yesterday we finally, we finally picked it up. So as you can see it's quite a bit massive, it's 28 feet, uh, not, that's not including the hitch on the front. Oh, let me get it in the view. Correction is 25 feet. <laughs> we are really excited to open the business and we'll be taking you on a journey with us. Let's go, let's show you around. So we're gonna show you all the steps basically that you have to go through if you want to open your own mobile food business at least in Florida which is quite a bit easier than in some states uh, It's still a lot of work We are ready to get our hands dirty So as with furniture we are going to start with some good cleaning You're gonna pressure wash it on the outside first uh, Get outside acceptable And then we're gonna go back uh, We're gonna move back in because I'm going to show you in a second, it's pretty dirty. Uh, so there's going to be at least two days of cleaning, I'm guessing. But yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, most of the equipment's already here. We bought it together with the equipment. Uh, we're just going to have to replace few stuff. But today we're going to focus on cleaning and uh, testing everything. There is a hookup here, but we don't have a generator at the moment, so we can't really uh, plug the whole trailer in. But we can go fridge by fridge, stuff by stuff. Just plug it into regular outlet and check it out. So yeah, we got a nice big uh, free compartment sink together with a smaller hand wash sink. Obviously a water heater, uh, fresh water tank and waste water tanks underneath the trailer. Some extra storage shelves. This fridge is actually brand new, it's still in wrappers. You can see even the instructions are still inside. The peel hasn't come off yet, Not just a breaker box. Uh, there's a big fridge here. Well, big from the outside, not so big in the inside. Food warmer, the panini or sandwich press, which is quite a bit dirty, but we do hope it works. And there's a big extraction together with a uh, fire suppression system. Two burners, I believe this is uh, 36 inches hot griddle. And three fryers. I know for a fact that the last one doesn't work. There's a big meat chiller right in here as well. And there's another food warmer. This, this side of the trailer is pretty dirty. So it's gonna be fun. That's the serving window, two nice big tables. <laughs> One burger, please. Can I have an awesome blossom, please? <laughs> it comes with uh, residents. We got paper wasp nets. I actually got stung by one yesterday for the first time in my life and yeah, I was surprised how painful it is. First aid kit is ready in case of any emergencies. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, there's uh, another grill slash grill on the bottom but this one doesn't work as well. We're gonna start off with a quick shampoo on the outside, just a regular Orides car shampoo. Uh, we got a big brush. And we're gonna try and spray the foam using uh, uh, pressure washer and then we're gonna see how much of the yellow stuff is gonna come off um, You can probably see you definitely can see It's been sitting under a tree for quite some time The outside stuff came off a little bit. The yellow streaks are still there. So we're gonna go with our favorite oxygen orange and some cloth.
most of the stuff is already gone. Uh, the one that's left is pretty stubborn, so we just went to the shop and picked up some more supply. Rust and lime remover, some baking soda, more sponges and scours. Uh, we got more. LA Sotelio, some original cleaners, they seem to be working the best so far. And then we got for the inside this oven cleaner and oven and grill cleaner. And we decided we're also gonna try mold and mildew remover. And here we go with the rain. Cleaned it so good we actually took some paint off. It's day two of us cleaning. It took us all day yesterday to clean on the outside. We lost some paint in a few spots, but that's okay. We're going to paint it anyway. Yeah, we checked some equipment as well, some appliances. Some of them don't work and they were supposed to work. <laughs> so yeah. It is what it is. Mm. Likely the one that doesn't work is the one that we wanted to change anyway for a sandwich cooler, so that's okay. And the other one we can use just for like dry storage. So we're gonna start off cleaning with ceilings, then we're gonna move on to the walls. Uh, after that we're gonna clean all the equipment. And the last one to, cl to be cleaned is gonna need to be the floor. This part right here is pretty nasty. That's gonna take some scrubbing. There's a wasp nest here and one of them stung me a few days ago so it's time for revenge i'm gonna spray them with this it works really good because we had um, we had nests on our house as well and that's what we used rained and I think the storm is coming up and I just finished scrubbing the ceiling it is looking much better still needs some work still needs some more scrubbing but I think it's looking much better we forgot to record it before I hope Mike will be able to show you in one of the clips that we recorded you should be able to see Mike roll the clip <laughs> and yeah it was one hell of a workout. It was really difficult. My hands, my hands were on fire, and but I'm glad it's done. Still nowhere near finishing. <laughs> we have walls and equipment and floor left. It's gonna take us a couple of days. We thought it's gonna two days. So we're gonna clean the inside out, and it's definitely gonna take us like five days or so. I don't even know how many, but it's always like this when it comes to things like that. You think it's gonna be quick, and it's never. So yeah, I don't know what I'll do next. I might go um, do that wall, but I don't know. You'll see in a second. I actually will try to clean like the top of this wall and see how it goes. Also, silly me yesterday got sunburned <laughs> after all day cleaning outside. I was I had it in my head like I had this thought. I was thinking about. I thought about applying sunscreen, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know why I didn't apply it. So my shoulders are burnt, and also I didn't wear any gloves, and my skin is so crusty and dry. So day two, the end of day two, and I finally have my gloves on. So well done, me. We've been using the LA is totally awesome. Um, all-purpose cleaner basically inside and outside because that's what seems to be working the best it's 
it is really strong and in some places it did take some paint off but I don't think it's an issue because we'll be painting quite a lot of stuff anyway so and yeah um, we've tried we bought a lot of stuff and nothing seemed to work just spray it on leave it for like I don't know 15 30 seconds to let it do the work so we don't have to scrub as much and and then wipe it off with sponge first and then the second time with like a cloth or like I rinse the sponge and wipe it again this wall has got some texture, so I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Let's see. I think it's working pretty well. I feel like pressure washer will do the better job, will do a better job, so maybe I'll use that. I think it looks much better. Also, we were thinking I know this is a small channel, we don't have much subscri subs many subscribers. We're really thankful for the positivity and support and all the nice comments from you guys. Thank you so much. But we were thinking maybe you guys want to get to know us a little bit more. And we were thinking about making a QA. and a I don't know, let us know if you'd be interested, if you want to know anything about us. I don't know if you care, but we haven't introduced ourselves very well yet. So maybe, maybe you have some questions so we can answer them. All right, that wasn't so bad actually. I thought this is gonna be really difficult because of the texture on the wall, but that was fairly easy and it looks so much better now. Well done me. Let's go. I just found another wasp nest. Not a fun. It's the third one here and it's starting to rain again and it uh, sounds like the storm is closer and closer. Let's see. Yeah. All right, back to cleaning. I just finished the wall. I think it looks much better and I didn't touch this, this shelving because we are going to use a stainless steel product on it. And I don't know if you can hear, but the storm is here. Just finished cleaning this wall and look at the difference on this side. Mm -hmm. I think this is next, this wall over the sink. Just finished the wall I think it's looking really good also I just realized that if I clean this part under the sink this corner and above the fridge and above the window and underneath the window then all the walls are clean yay because this is all done Mike cleaned this wall and this wall with a pressure washer and yeah, I might be able to finish it today, really excited. And then we'll have appliances and floors left. We Let's go. It took a while, but it's done. Uh, and we're gonna polish it again. I didn't realize the plates are made out of cast aluminum. So this is not dirt, it's just discoloration. So we're going to have to buy some kind of polish polish it up but that's okay because uh, we're going to be wrapping it in uh, aluminum foil anyway so one down and while I was editing the last video Aga basically finished all the walls by herself so we're starting to look pretty good that's pretty nasty hi guys this is day three cleaning the food truck and today we're gonna clean some more <laughs> Mike is gonna take care of these two. There's the other one here. And I'll try clean the sink. Finally finished cleaning the sinks. I think they look so much better. As well as the top shelves. Mike finished cleaning this, whatever it's called, hot hold. <laughs> And Mike is getting rid of this thing that doesn't work. I 
I'm gonna start on the exhaust fan first because it's pretty nasty and everything's going to drip uh, back on the clean wall. So let's get it. You can definitely tell I've been cleaning. It's hot in here and none of the equipment is even hooked up yet. We are making some progress. That's the part that I haven't cleaned yet. And this one's done. There's a tiny bit left, but my fat hand won't fit. <laughs> That's already messed up my wedding ring. Let's go. And our guy's doing the shelves, all the other bits, yeah. Little update. Mike is currently on the floor. <laughs> I'm not sleeping. <laughs> Apparently the this part, the bottom part of stainless steel was brand new, covered in stickers. So Mike cleaned the sticker and then realized that it's a sticker. So now he's peeling peeling it off. You look like you were in a fight. <laughs> Finishing touches on the griddle. Wow, look at that. Almost like new. Good job, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> At the end of the day yesterday because we were so tired <laughs> but we pretty much cleaned it all I mean it still needs a little bits here and there but it looks so much better and we were so tired yesterday we started at like I don't know around 10 a.m. and finished like 7 30 p.m. and we barely even took a break so <laughs> but yeah this is how it's looking let me walk around <laughs> thank you <laughs> shiny shiny clean and clean Super clean, super shiny. Floor, floor definitely needs some more cleaning. Something here, I think it's oil. The back, it's really hot on this side of the trailer. Very clean and very shiny. And I set up the fridge, shelves. And yeah, we did it. This was part one of our food truck adventures. I'm so glad it's we're done. <laughs> we're yeah. still gonna need lots of cleaning, but the like the worst bit of dirt is gone. So yeah, we look good. It's really hot inside. Mm. Yeah, we are absolutely exhausted after yesterday. That's why we are going to the beach today. Yeah. And we're not gonna do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely going to have more uh, more videos coming out. We're basically going to through all the steps uh, up until the business is gonna be running, and then we're gonna show you some more as well. So, mm. subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. Stay tuned. Leave a like, and we're going to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.